as the clock chimed twelve, and the princess carriage suddenly turned into a huge pumpkin. Wow! What happened next? Grandpa, why have you closed the book? Jesse, it's thirty minutes past ten o'clock. We must go to bed now. But I wanted to know how the story ends. No, JC. We will continue the story tomorrow. It's very late now. You should go to bed. Okay, Grandpa. Hey, Grandpa. This is a fancy old clock. Isn't it? Oh, this one? Yes, indeed. My father bought this when I was a child. And it is still working fine. Wow, it's really awesome. Hmm, so looks like clocks were exactly the same even in my great grandfather's time. Even this clock has a second hand, a minute hand and an hour hand. Wow! You seem to know a lot about clocks. So tell me, which is the fastest moving hand on the clock? The second hand, Grandpa. It takes 60 seconds to go right around the clock, which is the same as one minute. Aha! Yes! Now remind me again, which one is the minute hand? This one! It's the biggest hand on the clock! The minute hand makes one complete turn of the clock in one hour. It moves forward one division on the clock for every complete turn that the second hand makes. Now? Take a look at the clock face, JC. There are 12 numbers marked on it. It is divided into 60 small divisions. Each of these small divisions indicates one minute. When the minute hand moves, from one number to another, it covers five minutes. One, two, three, four, five. Yes, Grandpa! When the minute hand takes one complete round across the twelve numbers, it completes one hour. Now, you know? Each of the numbers have five minutes division between them. That means 12 multiplied by five minutes for each division makes 60 minutes. Exactly, because one hour is equal to 60 minutes. But how do we tell the time, Grandpa? I know how to do it, but sometimes I get confused. Okay, let's go over how to read time. Cool! How do you find out what hour it is? I look at the hour hand and check what digit it is pointing to. Like right now, the hour hand is between 10 and 11. So the time is after 10 o'clock. Yes, JC. Exactly. Now, let's look at the minute hand. What digit is it pointing at? 8. So, to know how many minutes past 10 o'clock it is, we need to find the number of divisions the minute hand has covered to reach the digit 8. Now you tell me, JC, when the minute hand is at 8, then 
How many minutes have gone past? Well, um, it's five minutes, then ten minutes, then fifteen minutes, then twenty minutes, it's forty minutes. Exactly. So, when the hour hand is at ten and the minute hand is at eight, the time is read as 40 minutes past 10 o'clock. Great! But you know what? Every time you are telling the time, you don't have to count like you just did. You can just multiply the digit the minute hand is at by 5. And you will have the minutes. Multiply by 5? Oh, I get it. Because the minute hand has reached the 8th digit and each digit is separated from the next by 5 divisions or minutes. Exactly. Okay, JC. When the hour hand is at 8 and the minute hand is at 2, then how do you read it? Okay, let me see. If the hour hand is at 8, so it's 8 o'clock. Now the minute hand is at 2. That means, um, 10 minutes past 8 o'clock. Am I right, Grandpa? Absolutely. Now, JC, if the hour hand is between 9 and 10, and the minute hand is at 10? Okay. If the hour hand is between 9 and 10, the hour is 9 o'clock and the minute hand is at 10. So that means, um, the time is 50 minutes past 9 o'clock. Great! Now, let me tell you another way of telling time. Sure, Grandpa. Instead of reading time according to how many minutes have passed since the last hour, we can tell time according to how many minutes are left before the next hour begins. Oh! Yes! Now, 50 minutes past 9 o'clock can also be referred to as 10 minutes to 10 o'clock. Oh, yeah! Okay, Jesse. Now tell me, when the hour hand is at 11 and the minute hand is at 9, then how you will tell the time? All right, let's see. It would be 45 minutes past 11 o'clock. Or we can say 15 minutes to 12 o'clock. Very good. Right now the hour hand is at 11 and the minute hand is at 2. It's so late. <laughs> Come on now. Go to bed, JC. Before the clock strikes 12 and you turn into a pumpkin. <laughs> <laughs> good night, Grandpa. Let me summarize all that I learnt about reading time. A clock has three hands. The second hand is the fastest moving hand. The hour hand is the short hand. The minute hand is the long hand. One hour is equal to 60 minutes. One minute is equal to 60 seconds. While reading time, look at the hour and minute hands. The hour hand specifies the hour. Um, the number of minutes past the hour is the amount of divisions the minute hand has moved on the clock. There's a simple trick to find out how many minutes past the hour the time is. Just multiply the digit the minute hand is pointing to by 5.